if you're coming up for your PI planning event and you want to make sure you have awesome features that are clearer, less ambiguous and just really dialed in, then have a look at this video because there are a couple of really quick tips that I find could be quite useful for you. Hey friends, I'm Ahmed, a skilled Agile and Productivity Coach based in the UK. In this Quick Tips video series, I'll walk you through some really simple ideas that can make a massive impact on your PI planning event. So let's get started. So when we look at standard features in, a, in the Scaled Agile framework, they typically use a similar format. And what that is, is they have a title, they have a benefit statement or a hypothesis, and they have an acceptance criteria associated with each of those. Now, one of the things that I've found is, is that the benefit statement frequently can have stuff that's missing. It could be not entirely very clear, or it could just have some waffle in there as well. So what I found really useful is to borrow the structure from Repic and apply that into a feature. So let's have a look and see why that might make a difference. Well, the first thing is, is the, if you look at the Epic structure, which is on the screen over here, what you see is, is that it basically borrows the elevator statement and basically it applies that. And what this actually does is it makes it really clear who the beneficiary is. It makes it really clear why we are actually doing what we want to do. And it also tells us where we were and where we wish to go as well. Now, all of this information is really, really valuable. And what I frequently find is when you're doing this the first time, it's going to feel very awkward. But what it does do, it forces us to actually articulate all of these elements for your features as well. So one of the things that I find really useful, especially in programs that are complex or that have got a lot of scope for misunderstanding or ambiguity is to actually take this format and actually apply it to our features. So let's have a look on the screen at an example of how we would actually do that. So over here you've got a standard feature example and what it what it is is it's around uh, a feature which is for the family law and it's for a divorce feature. So let's have a look at it. Feature description says it provides relevant case law, legal information and data to support family lawyers whilst preparing for divorce cases. Well, this is OK. This is fairly straightforward. It explains what it is. But let's apply that now to the EPIC format and see what additional information we might be able to get from that. So if we apply this to um, the EPIC format, what we get is we might get something that looks something like this. For family lawyers who are divorce attorneys in Australia, the family law divorce feature is a provider of relevant case law and legal information that assists lawyers to provide legal counsel during divorce proceedings. Now, you could argue that this is fairly similar to the benefit statement, but remember, this is a well-written and well-formed benefit statement, which may not always be the case. But over here, you get a bit a little bit of additional information over here as well where it says unlike the current situation where lawyers must consult legal books which are frequently out of date so you can actually see we're starting to glean now additional information and then also we say our solution what does it actually provide what is the difference and it provides that reliable and up-to-date source of information that legal professionals can rely upon as well. So quick tip over there, I hope you found that useful. For complex organizations, for uh, complex areas, I always insist on using this more, somewhat more complex uh, format. It does take slightly longer to actually put it together, but actually it pays dividends throughout because then when people look to split out this feature into smaller stories, all the information is going to be there, or a lot of the information is going to be there. It's going to be clearer, it's going to be less ambiguity as well. So I hope you found that useful and look forward to seeing you in the next, next tips video. Take care and goodbye.